YouTube, Komodo Gaming here, bring you guys another episode of Tiny Town VR, and yes folks, we're back once again, and it's been a while since we've played this game. So, kind of where we last left off, we were in this little Siren Head area, where we did the Siren Head Forest, you have the big one over there, and then the factory. So I've been getting a lot of requests to continue some of the horror theme that we've been doing, so I've got an idea. So it wasn't too long ago that we created our own costume man here in Tiny Town. Well, it's a decent model that I custom made, but there's been a new one that's appeared on the workshop. You've actually got two. One's a walking model and one's just a standing model. And this looks really, really close to the one that's in Gmod. I mean, you can kind of see the resemblance, maybe a little bit, not 100% sure. I mean, it's, it's somewhat there. It's fine. So, I've got an idea. We're gonna make a costume factory, but it's gonna be kind of run down and busted. And you know what? There's costumes in there taking over people. I can't get over those googly eyes. So, you're probably asking, well, where is this factory gonna be? It's actually gonna be on this side by the power plant. So, it's kind of far away from all the stuff that we've been working on. But, I feel like this is a good area. Because this is going to be like an industrial area and stuff like that. And then eventually we're going to add more to downtown. There's just a bunch of stuff that I want to do. So if you guys have any suggestions for future Tiny Town episodes, comment down below. And if you guys are enjoying the return of Tiny Town, maybe hit that thumbs up button. It helps out my channel. And let's get to building. So there's a little theory about what's happening here. So the costumes, of course, if you follow the lore, uh, it was actually a, a guy that was in a uh, theme park. He got sick, I think. He got left out in a uh, storage room when people were supposed to help him. And he died and the costume took over his body. Well, I'm kind of twisting it around, in which I don't mean to do that always, but I'm kind of making my own little part of it. And uh, the costumes themselves are what's possessed. And they're going to be taking over everybody at the factory. Now, you're probably wondering why people are at the factory. Well, I'm going to say maybe the police were called for some particular reason. Maybe somebody was breaking into the abandoned factory. And yeah, the costumes are taking them over. So really what I need to do, I need to build a foundation here. And I'm going to use the uh, zombie apocalypse pack. They've got some really good broken up factory pieces. So I think we're going to use that for our abandoned factory. Okay, the area doesn't need to be really big, which by the way, if you look, I've got a blank area through here. I'm not sure what this is going to be. This might be our next build area. So if you guys have suggestions, uh, that's really what drives the whole series here. Uh, let me know down in the comments section uh, what we should do. And probably we'll go with the highest upvoted comment. Okay, so this factory that we're going to place down, I'm not going to make it look like the power plant because obviously it's a factory. I don't think we would have like huge cooling towers and stuff like that and reactors. Uh, maybe a couple towers. Uh, maybe they're actually making some of the material and it's giving off heat or something. I, I don't know. I'm really confused as to how I'm actually going to do this. But I think I might use pieces of the old damaged hospital. Uh, that looks cool. You've got this building, which kind of looks like it could be a factory building. And we've got to have some debris here. But I could swear that there's something else that I want to use here for this. Uh, some of these buildings could be like the administrative building for the factory. We have one that's a little bit more damaged. Eh, that one's okay. So we'll use that. And then I need like one just big building. Maybe this? That doesn't look that bad. You know, the factory is going to be quite old. It, they just haven't gone in there and actually tried to break it down. Because obviously, I think everybody's a little busy right now. Okay, so I've got some ideas that I want to do. I'm going to have like a completely broken down building here. So we're going to do like a custom thing here with the debris by placing it inside of this building. Make it look like it's collapsed. We're gonna add a big wall around it. Probably add some like chained areas where they're trying to keep people out. And then of course you'll have the people that busted in, which this is kind of similar to our cartoon cat uh, episode that we did where the teenager summoned them in a alleyway, which I think it's over here. Yeah, there that is. But this is completely different because this is a factory where the costume was made. Okay, so right now I'm just decorating the area. You can see that I've added a big wall around it. So you can see they tried to keep people out, but we're gonna actually say that a part of the wall collapsed and they attempted to repair it, uh, even though there's so much chaos going on around us. And yeah, they didn't do a very good job because uh, they put up just like a little wood fence here. And then we're gonna make like a little hole in it. Or actually we might just turn it slightly. Uh, let's turn off snapping here. And then it's going to have like enough of a gap where people could have squeezed through. We'll add a little bit more debris here to the front. So we'll say that they try to just block this whole area off. And yeah, they didn't do a very good job, but you know, 
they kind of don't have a lot of time. Yep, that doesn't look like a very good job. Now, what I'm going to actually do, or this is where the officers had gone in in order to investigate the uh, people breaking into the factory. Uh, we're going to have one attempting to crawl out, even though we haven't put the stuff in there yet. You're going to pretty much just see that he's afraid. Okay, we're going to stick him about right there. There we go. All right, so let's do that. Let me go ahead and place some uh, cop cars out here real quick and make it look really nice and busy. Okay, so we're giving this one a walkie-talkie here. He's trying to contact the people on the inside of the factory after seeing uh, or hearing the chaos. And then, yeah, you've got an officer here attempting to help the other out of the hole in the wall. So, this brings us to in here. What does in here look like? Well, you see the factory buildings. I'm going to change since they are duplicate buildings. I'm going to change the way some of them look by adding some paneling and uh, making them not look so generic. And then, of course, you see the destruction of the building in the middle. So we've got that. Let's go ahead. I'm going to add some more debris. But, for example, let's look at our costume man here. So I've got a couple ideas. All right, so we're going to get two of them out, for example. This is the walking one, which I really like that the creators added two of these. So we got this one and we have this one. So that's a about the size I think they need to be. And then we'll stick a person right beside them. Uh, according to the Gmod model, I mean, they're big, but they're not that big. So, yeah, that'll work. Let's go ahead and stick these, turn on snapping real quick. These uh, stick to the ground quite nice. So, they could be running towards the people. Now, these things normally cry. That's what they do when they are attempting to get people to help them out of their suit. So, there's several different things that happen according to the different stories that you hear about it, but what we're going to do, we're going to have these things actually eating the people. So, it's going to eat them, devour them, and make them with the suit, or make them one with the suit. I'm pretty sure they don't digest them. I could be wrong, though. Alright, so that's what it looks like when a costume man eats you. So, I had to replace the others. I needed to make them a little bit bigger in order for the hole to make a bit more sense. Okay, that doesn't look pleasant at all. So you're probably asking, well, what's happening when they're doing that? Well, I know they're, I guess, becoming one with the suit, like I said, but I'm going to say that it might be mutating them a little bit, too. So we've got some cool pieces, and I think this is going to make them look freaky. We're going to give this one teeth. Oh. Oh, I don't think I like that at all. And I have replacement eyeballs uh, that I've downloaded, too. So... Maybe it's mutating and it's taking parts of the people. Oh, that is some nightmare fuel there. Okay, I, I'm not sure I really like this, but yeah, Costume Man is mutating. Oh, no. You know, this blue shard actually kind of uh, looks like the same color. Actually, it is the same color. So we can say these things are changing as they devour more and more people. So we're going to add some of these to it. So yeah, you can see this one here has got some uh, legs kicked out of it. It's uh, starting to mutate. Its eyes are different here. We should probably change those directions a little bit. That's... that's creepy. That might be a little bit more creepy than the other one. Okay, so now we just have to have a ton of these. Okay, so I'm starting to add in more and more of these, and we're trying to make all of them do maybe something a little bit different. So as you can see, we have a big mutated one that I'm working on back here. And then we have all the small ones. You've got some cops running away. Uh, they're firing at it. Pretty much the rest of the squad's wiped out, and they're uh, now one with the other costumes. So that's actually really cool. And now I'm thinking to myself, what if the people that broke in were actually trying to take some of the costumes for their own good? So over here, I'm going to have like a box truck that might have slipped away before the cops arrive that have some of the costumes in it. Okay, we're starting to go into uh, greater detail here. So you can see that there's quite a few more officers here. They're all getting dragged out. If you've seen some of the pictures of uh, Costume Man, which by the way, I'll flash one up on the screen. Uh, sometimes it looks like uh, that he's holding something or dragging somebody. So that's kind of what's happening here. So yeah, you can see uh, all the officers getting dragged. Now you're probably wondering about this one here. Yes, it's an Elvis impersonator, but that's the group that broke into this factory. It's just a gang that they all dress like Elvis. Also, by the way, I've added some more mutations to the really big one back there, and it's looking a little creepy. So, you've got them heading for the exit. They're going to bust through, potentially, if we do a, another episode here. So, down the street, we need to go ahead, which, by the way, I need, still need to figure out what's across here. I need your guys' input. Uh, I need to find a box truck. We could use maybe a disguise truck, like an ice cream truck. I feel like this might actually work. So this thing is speeding away from the scene. 
Uh, we'll have some of the Elvis impersonators. I wish I had something that looked like a, an empty costume, but I don't have that. I don't think I can make that either. Alright, so I think we're about through with this section. So if you look over here, here's the ice cream truck that's getting away. Uh, they've got like a little sawed off shotgun here. They're riding on the back. The driver's just uh, raging as they drive away. And then if you see this guy's got some C4 on him. So we can potentially say that's what happened to the main factory. Maybe they blew it up for some reason. But I did find something that's the same shade and it kind of looks rolled up. So we're going to say it's a couple of the costumes that have fallen out the back. Uh, so I guess we kind of have an excuse for those costumes. Actually, you know what? We can always add. Uh, I think the eyeballs on the default one are, it's actually black, but we can do this. We can, uh, here, let's put an eyeball here, and then we'll add another one here, and then I can add a little black cylinder to make it look like an empty suit. That way it just gives it just a bit more detail. So, let's see, where's the, we can use this cone, actually. So, we put this down here, uh... That looks, that looks pretty good, actually. So maybe that's the head. So yeah, that's an empty suit there. Okay, so I'm back in here kind of touching up this area, making it look a little bit more dirty. But I think for the most part, I'm happy with what we've done here so far. I'm debating if I want to add more of these costume men. That could be a thing. I mean, they look pretty cool, except for this one looks really goofy. I added three eyes to it. It, it looks kind of strange. Just stick this one a little, little further down. There we go. Oh, boy. By the way, we should add a couple more people in this one since it's like the alpha costume man. So I got a question for you guys. Uh, what is the salary of a, a tiny town policeman? Like, how does that work? How much do you get paid to do this and put up with everything? That and the military, how much do they get paid too? I imagine the budget's absolutely insane, at least for the tech. I mean, but it seems like all the, uh, the people kind of just go away. All right, so let's do this. Actually, we'll do it like this. So it'll be kind of hanging out this way. There we go, that looks cool. And then maybe we'll stick one more officer in the hands here. Uh, even though the hands have kind of evolved into like spikes, it'll be uh, kind of through it like that. That is cool looking. Okay, so like I said, I'm gonna decorate this area some more. That way I kind of wrap it up and make it as detailed as possible, but the base uh, scene I would say is basically done. So let me go in and let's do some more decorating. Okay, so you can see where I'm barricading these and making these buildings look a bit different. I've already done the other side, but I'm just trying to make it look like uh, that they are different models. So you can see they've kind of barricaded the doors here. Some of the windows are boarded up. Uh, same with that side. Some metal pieces, scrap being used. Uh, so we've got that. Now there's a couple more things that I kind of have some ideas for. Uh, I kind of want to make it look like there was an explosion. Obviously this should be kind of on fire. Or do I have a good fire? I don't know if I do or don't. I know I have a really, really good explosion, but I kind of feel like maybe we're post-explosion. By the way, check this out. I did download a nuke. Like, this is a mushroom. Oh. Oh. Hold the phone. That's a lot bigger than I thought it was going to be. Hans, come out this way. How big is this mushroom cloud? Oh. Oh. Okay, well, that might get used in the future. So, anyways, like I was saying, uh, I need to add maybe a secondary explosions going off in the background. Maybe it was like a delayed C4 or something. So we'll stick this back here. There we go. And then we're going to add fire to this if I have a decent one. You know, I had a couple. I'm just not sure if I'm 100% satisfied with them. You know, this kind of blends in. We'll stick this side of it on fire. And then we're going to add a uh, smoke cloud coming from it. So uh, even if the fire doesn't look perfect, that smoke cloud should blend in and make it look pretty good. Alright, so this fire is going to be really hot and it's not getting put out, so we're going to definitely have to use like the black uh, spheres here in order to make it look like a nice big black cloud coming up from it. There we go, check that out. Alright, that really set that off quite a bit. So it truly looks like a, a big devastating thing has happened to the abandoned factory. So yeah, we've got that. Uh, they're not breaking out yet, like I said. But there's always a possibility for a part two because no telling what's going to end up happening with these uh, suits over here. Okay, we're trying to make this area look extra destroyed, adding some more debris piles, little pieces. There we go, this is looking busy now. So let's add this, kind of stick this into the ground. So I think I'm about satisfied with this. Uh, there could be a couple more things that I want to add in the future. 
Probably should add some cargo containers. Maybe they had some old shipments here. Gonna bury a couple of these into the ground. There we go. All right, so yeah, inside this wall, it looks pretty bad. So, if you guys have any suggestions for future Tiny Town episodes, you know what to do. Comment down below. Should we do a part two of this, or should we move on? I've got a lot of options now, and we've got a ton of areas to fill up. And I'm going to try to do more of these episodes. So, thank you guys for all the love and support. You guys are amazing. And we will see you guys next time in Tiny Town VR.